DJI Mic 2 versus Rode Wireless Pro. Which mic system should you buy as a wedding filmmaker? In this video, I'll share with you nine differences between these microphones and tell you which one I would recommend that you purchase. Incidentally, if you want a more in-depth look at either of them, I have a full review for both of these microphones. I'll link to that up in the corner and down in the video description. And I will also link down in the description to my wedding filmmaker gear guide that will show you the best gear that you need to buy to film weddings. That guide is completely free and linked down below. Starting off with the biggest difference, which may be a deal breaker for many of you if you're recording something like a wedding that you have to make sure is recorded correctly. This difference is that while the Rode Wireless Pro has a locking microphone jack that you can screw in to prevent your microphone from being disconnected, the DJI on the other hand does not have a screw in lav connector and instead lets you loop the cord under the transmitter clip but this isn't good enough in my opinion, and it can be more easily disconnected. So in this situation, the Rode Wireless Pro wins easily. Next, let's talk about a win for the DJI Mic 2, and that is the touchscreen on the receiver. This is definitely a small touchscreen, but it is still a touchscreen, which is a big win over the Rode Wireless Pro. With the Rode Wireless Pro, if you want to change some of the more complicated settings, you need to plug the Wireless Pro either into your phone or computer, and then use the Rode Central app to adjust the settings. With DJI Mic 2, on the other hand, all of these settings are adjustable using the touchscreen on the receiver, which is significantly easier, especially if you do not have a cable or phone or computer nearby to plug into the receiver and transmitters. In addition, talking about the next win for the DJI Mic 2, this microphone system also includes Bluetooth, giving you more connectivity where you can wirelessly connect the microphones to some of DJI's cameras as well as your phone. So if you want to use some of DJI's cameras to film a wedding, you've got a nice microphone system that'll work well with it. Moving on, you have battery life, and this is an area where the Rode Wireless Pro both wins and loses a little bit. The Rode Wireless Pro will give you approximately six and a half hours of recording time for each transmitter, while the DJI Mic 2 gives you about five hours per transmitter if you're recording 32-bit float internally, which I highly recommend doing. The Rode Wireless Pro's charge case will also give your transmitters and receivers 21 hours of battery life versus 18 hours with the DJI Mic 2. So the Rode Wireless Pro ekes out a win over the DJI in terms of battery life, but there is an interesting wrinkle here. With the Rode Wireless Pro, you cannot charge the transmitter or receiver while using them for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why this is, but it's a strange limitation. With the DJI Mic 2, on the other hand, both the transmitters and receiver can charge and record at the same time. So if you wanted to rig up a USB-C charger, you could run them indefinitely, which is a win. Closely related to battery life, you have recording time for each of these mics, and I'm happy to tell you that both the DJI Mic and Rode Wireless Pro can record 32-bit float audio internally, but where they differ is in how much storage space they have for this audio. With the DJI Mic 2's eight gigabytes of internal storage, each transmitter can record approximately 11 hours of 32-bit float audio before it's full. The Rode Wireless Pro, on the other hand, does not specifically say how much storage space it has in gigabytes, but Rode does say that each transmitter can record over 40 hours of 32-bit float audio. This is a big win for the Rode, in my opinion, especially if you're filming a long wedding day or a multi-day wedding, and you don't want to copy your audio until the end. Speaking of copying your audio, we need to talk about the cases that these microphone systems come in because there are wins and losses on both sides. The Rode Wireless Pro wins in that its charging case supports copying the audio files from both transmitters simultaneously. So if you record an interview using both transmitters and want to copy your 32 big float audio tracks from them, simply drop your transmitters into the charging case, plug into your computer, and you can then save time by copying the audio from both of them. Unfortunately, with the DJI Mic 2, on the other hand, this charging case's USB-C port does not support data transfer and is instead limited to charging only. If you want to copy your audio, you need to plug in each transmitter separately using their USB-C ports. Now, I did say that the DJI Mic 2 did have a win, though, in the case department, and here it is. Comparing the size and build quality of the two cases, they are quite similar, but remember that the Rode Wireless Pro requires you to have two separate cases of similar size, one of them being the charging case that holds the transmitters and receiver, while the other case holds all of the microphone accessories. I greatly prefer how DJI handles their cases, though, and I think that you will too, because while, yes, the DJI Mic 2 does have two cases as well, the charging case that holds the transmitters and receivers fits inside the accessories case, which makes it for a much easier to transport setup because you don't have to worry about losing one of the cases or grabbing the wrong one. I've lost track of the amount of times I've picked it up and I'm like, wait, this one isn't heavy enough. This is just the cables. Nope, I need the other case. So I really love how DJI has done this. 
Up next is audio quality. And for that, I'm gonna give a slight edge to the Rode Wireless Pro, but that is mainly due to the higher quality lavalier microphone that they include with it. Both the DJI Mic 2 and Wireless Pro sound fairly similar when using their microphones built into the capsule transmitters, but whenever you use the lavalier mic attachment, this is where the Wireless Pro pulls a bit ahead in terms of quality. It just has a slightly higher quality microphone that sounds better to my ears. As another bonus, I know I just mentioned it, but the Rode Wireless Pro comes with two lav mics in the case ready for you to use, while the DJI Mic 2, on the other hand, requires you to purchase the lav mic separately. Here's an example of how the Rode Wireless Pro lav sounds. This is the Rode Wireless Pro's lav mic recording directly into the transmitter in 32-bit float quality. And here's the DJI Mic 2 with its lav. This is a test of the DJI Mic 2 recording directly from the lav mic into the transmitter in 32-bit float audio. Now, I know that I just said the Rode Wireless Pro sounded better to me, but its lav mic is not without its faults. Specifically, the microphone clip on the Wireless Pro is quite poor and can become disconnected, while the lav mic for the DJI mic does not have that issue. So I'm still gonna give the win to the Rode Wireless Pro because quality is paramount, but it's very close considering the poor microphone clip for the Wireless Pro. I also do have one big complaint about both of these microphones, and that is the DJI and Rode both decided to include their logo on the lav mic clip, and it's really gaudy and distracting. Just make it black. You don't need to advertise your brand here. I would gaff tape over this immediately if you were using either of these labs in a professional video. Now, we do have another con to talk about with the DJI Mic 2, and in my opinion, this is the second worst issue that the DJI Mic 2 faces after the non-locking microphone jack. This big issue comes down to the power button on the DJI Mic 2, in that if you press it while the microphone is on, it will enable a noise canceling feature where the microphone will attempt to remove some of the external background noise that that microphone is picking up. This is a simple, very quick button press, and there's a chance that your client that has the mic on could accidentally press it and possibly ruin the quality of your audio due to the noise canceling feature turning on. Alternatively though, with the Rode Wireless Pro, it does not have a noise isolation feature, and while it also has buttons that will enable you to do things like start and stop recording on the transmitter, many of these buttons can be customized in the Rode Central app to disable them from accidentally being pressed, which is great. That said, both of these recorders will turn off if you hold down the power button on them, so that's still annoying. I would love to be able to lock that and prevent the client from being able to accidentally turn the audio off. Now then, we've looked at the pros and cons for either of these microphones, but which one should you buy? Well, if you're a wedding filmmaker, the odds are that you're going to want to put a lav mic on your couple or efficient, and you're not going to be wanting to use the transmitter's built-in microphone. Because of this need, as well as the need for buttons to not accidentally be pressed while recording, the Rode Wireless Pro with its locking port and customizable buttons make it a winner for me over the DJI Mic 2. That said, both of these recorders still have roughly five to six and a half hours of battery life only, and if if you need to record longer on a wedding day, you're going to want to look elsewhere, either to possibly a standalone recorder like the Tascam dr 10 Pro that I love that provides over a day of battery life, or there are other audio recorders that I am still working on testing. Please comment below, let me know what you want to see. For now, if you really want to purchase either one of these, I would go with the Rode Wireless Pro. Speaking of pro, if you want to be a pro at wedding filmmaking, I've put together a free wedding filmmaker guide that's gonna show you all of the gear that I recommend for wedding filmmaking, plus links for where to buy the gear. It's completely free. You can download it down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.